Hello everyone. This is our first video covering the notes and examples on section 1.4, the derivative function. In section 1.3, we learned about the derivative at a point on a curve or a function. And so now if we consider all such derivatives of one function, we get a new function called the derivative function. This will start to make more sense as we go through these notes. So let's begin with a preliminary example. So below and to the right, so here, we are given the graph of a function f of x. Now with a straight edge, draw in tangent lines to f of x and estimate their slopes from the grid to fill in the table to the left. And then sketch f prime of x. So step one, what we want to do is draw in these tangent lines on f of x. And we want to draw them at these x values here. So I'm going to do a couple to lead you through it. And then I'd like you to pause the video and continue drawing those lines. So we're going to start with x equals negative 3. So I'm going to find x equals negative 3 right here. So I'm going to begin by drawing in my tangent line at x equals negative 3. I'm going to put my ruler down. Draw my line here. So there's my tangent line. Then I'm going to go over to negative two. Negative two is here. So here's my point on my curve. I'm going to draw in my tangent line at x equals negative two. So now what I'd like you to do is pause the video and draw in the rest of the tangent lines on your own page. And then after you finish that, feel free to start back up the video and check your work. All right, so here are all of my tangent lines. So we've drawn in those tangent lines at these x values. So now what we want to do is estimate their slopes using this grid that we're given here on this graph. So I'll do a couple together, and then I'd like you to work on some on your own. So let's first look at this first tangent line here at x equals negative 3. So I can pick a couple points on my graph. So it looks kind of like this point here. I'll use a different color to write to draw that. This point here is on my curve, on my line, if I had drawn it more precisely. It's hard to get super exact with our uh, pen and paper. And then it kind of looks like the line could have crossed up here if I had drawn, drawn it more accurately. So from those two points, I can compute a slope. Rise, one, two, run, one. So the slope for this tangent line would be 2 over 1, or 2. So I'm going to fill that into my grid. So f prime of x at x equals negative 3 is 2. So let's do one more together. So I'm going to look at this next tangent line at negative 2. And I see that the point negative 2, 1 is on my curve about and then I also have the point negative one, one half. Oh, and that's one and a half. But similarly, I can compute the slope of this line using those two points. So if I rise one half and I run one, my slope is going to be one half over one, which is equal to one half. So then the derivative at x equals negative two is about one half. So I'd like you to pause the video at this point and see if you can estimate the remaining slopes of those tangent lines. And when you're ready, go ahead and play and compare estimates. All right, so I computed out estimates of my remaining slopes of tangent lines. So here's what I got. Your answers might be a little different, it's a little bit hard to tell with some of these uh, hand drawn in. But I think you get the idea of how we're computing the slopes and how we can fill in this table. OK, so now we've filled in the table. Awesome. So now what we want to do is sketch a rough graph of f prime of x. So what that means is we want to plot these points that we've just found on our axes here. So let's go ahead and do that. So I'm going to clean this up a little bit. So at x equals negative 3, so we'll go over here to negative 3, 1, 2, 3, d 
the output is two, one, two. So I'm gonna plot that point, negative three, two. Check. So my next point, negative two, one half. So I go over to negative two and up one half. I'm gonna plot that point. Now I'm gonna plot my next point, negative one, negative two thirds. So I go over to negative one, down two thirds, plot my other point. So I'd like you to continue plotting the remaining points on our table. So you should find that your points look something like this. And so now that we have the derivative at these specific points, we can sketch in what we think the curve should look like in between. So since our original f of x function was nice and smooth, turns out that our derivative is also gonna be a nice smooth curve going through these points. Awesome, so go ahead and fill that in on your graph as well. So I just wanna emphasize what we've done. We've drawn a function f prime of x whose outputs, so the horizontal, the vertical values, the output values are the derivatives of the original function at that given x value. So to say further, if we look at any point here, we'll say even two and a half. The output value of my function is down here but the slope of the tangent line at that point is up here. So again, that function that we've just, just drawn is the derivative of our original function. The output values represent the slopes of tangent lines of the original function. So now I just wanna make some observations about our function and the derivative. And we're gonna to start to recognize some of these observations or patterns or features when we start drawing more derivatives of functions. But let's just write them here. So observations. So by observations, I mean features about our derivative graph from looking at our original function. So one thing that we can observe is that the derivative f prime crosses the x-axis where? For us here and here. So what's special about our original function at those points? The tangent lines have a zero slope. So that means f prime crosses the x-axis or the derivative is zero where the tangent lines of f of x are horizontal. So I can even draw them in here. So at this point, we see that we have a horizontal tangent line there. And again here at this point, horizontal tangent line. So when we draw a derivative graph from, a, from an original function, noting features like where we have horizontal tangent lines is very helpful in drawing that derivative. Okay, what are some other observations? Well, we can also observe where our original function, or rather where our derivative is positive or negative. So I'm gonna pause and just clean up my curve a little bit. Okay. So let's observe where our function, our derivative function is positive or above the axis, x-axis. Well, what does that mean if our derivative is positive greater than zero or above the y x-axis? Well, it means that the derivatives of our original function at those points were positive. So I'm gonna write that down. So second observation is that the derivative f prime of x is bigger than zero or positive where our original function is increasing, where the slope of the tangent line is positive. 
And similarly, we can observe that our derivative is negative when our tangent lines have a negative slope or when our original function is decreasing. So f prime of x is less than zero, where f is decreasing. Just to further iterate, f is decreasing means that the tangent line has a negative slope. And I encourage you to pause the video and kind of meditate on some of those ideas. I sometimes like to use my hand to demonstrate, okay, positive slope. What does that look like? What does the tangent look like? Horizontal, increasing. Function is increasing. Okay, negative slope, what does that look like? Function is decreasing. Awesome, thanks so much for listening. Feel free to rewatch any parts of these video, this video covering this preliminary example. And then when you're ready, move on to the next example. Hello everyone. In this video, we are gonna 